Hi there, and welcome to Art from the Cottage. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is put in some um, texture in the foreground, um, because that's where I want the, the plants and the flowers and things like that. So I'm using, um, I'm using a decorator's um, filler. You can use artist's um, texture paste if you like, but I use decorator's filler, I like that. Yes, I don't see the point in paying like five times as much because it says artist texture paste. This is perfectly good. I've been using it for about 25 years and it's absolutely fine. And it dries rock hard and I like it very much. I always have to move my um, paintings along and fast forward them because of what they are. They take a lot of them. Um, they take a lot of time, these paintings. They're not simple. And um, they go over the time limit, really, for what's, uh, you know, sensible for YouTube. We'd be here for like an hour, and people just don't want that. So in the simple parts like this here, I'm just putting in a sketch of where I want my cliffs to be. You can see that. So I've speeded it up a bit. And the colours that I'm going to be using today are indigo blue, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue. Um, I'm going to be using a white and a cream and a purple and a red and a yellow and what else am I going to be using? A burnt umber, raw sienna, and yellow ochre. I think I've covered it, and that's what I'm going to be using. And all, every single colour I'm going to be mixing. So I'll try and keep up with, with what I've used there. I think I've used some... Um, I've used some... It's hard to say because I've got stuff on the brush. I've used some cerulean blue, some white, and just a touch of the uh, ultramarine. And here I've got a little bit of purple in it as well. So this is just an initial um, layer of this blue in the sky and the sea. I'm going to be doing two more layers. So here comes the second layer, and that's a bit darker. I've just added a little bit of the indigo, I think, to that. It's lovely. And I'm not, you know, I'm not doing it evenly. I'm doing it sort of um, roughly, so that bits and pieces show through. There's one thing that I cannot stand in, in paintings, and that is to see canvas, actual raw canvas, or paper, or card, or whatever, through the paint. I, I cannot do that. I've got to cover it. And that's why I have layers and layers and layers of paint. So I'm putting in some darks in the sky and for that I'm using the indigo with a little bit of black. See how dark that is. And I'm using some um, yellow ochre with, I think I put a little bit of black in that as well. No, I put a little bit of brown in that, like that sea burnt umber. So I'm just got, putting in a bit of shade here, a bit of darker blue. Uh, indigo blue I think it is with a bit of black and I'm putting it on the you know on the horizon so that it'll show through when I put the surf in there so I'm going to have to let the sky dry here I think
So here I'm just putting in the cliffs in a burnt umber and black and I'm not mixing it really well. I'm, I deliberately want it to be patchy. I want some dark, and uh, you know, the black and I want some burnt umber in there. I want it patchy. I don't want it all one tone. And I'm using up what is left on the brush in, in just a little bit in the foreground. I decided to go ahead and put some lime green in on the top of the cliffs there. Um, I, I'll have to go over it because it's a little bit watery. I mixed it with yellow and blue and a little bit of cream, I think, and I made a really lovely lime green for those cliffs. And I will have to go over it, I know that, but that's okay. It just gives me, I like to see how it's going to look, you know, as I go along. I, I don't like to leave stuff. I like to, I like to get a feel for this painting. That's why I'm going to put in this surf. I like to see how this painting's going to develop. Develop, even though I know that I'm going to go over everything, the whole thing. It doesn't matter. I just need to know, I get a get a, a a good idea on how it's going to look. And that's why I suggest that you do the same thing. It'll give you, it, it'll give you a bit of satisfaction on knowing how your painting's going to turn out. Because you can see it developing, and it, and it, it'll, you know, it'll give you a little bit of confidence as well. So now I'm putting in some preliminary cloud. And it, this is just the basis of the cloud layer because there are quite a few layers in these clouds that I do. Um, we, we go over the dark and then we go over the light with the dark and we just keep going until we like it. And it can change many times before I've finished. Um, I think as a painter, you have to like it. It's no good if, you know, somebody comes along and says, oh, that looks nice. And you can see something that you don't, it's just jarring. You don't like it. You know you can do better. Well, don't take any notice of other people. It's got to be how you like it. And um, what is pleasing to your eye. So... That's, that's my suggestion. So this scene here, this, um, I'm going to do a lighthouse in this. And this scene here is a place, um, I've done it from memory because it's a place that is close to where I live. Um, I live in, oh, there's my brushes. Everybody asks about my brushes and um, I use household brushes, ordinary painter's brushes. I don't use, there's very few actual artist brushes that I use. I use these 
I find them absolutely brilliant for skies and clouds and, and everything. So I use them for everything. The only thing I use proper artist brushes for are trees uh, and things like that. Um, but the rest of it, yeah, it's going to be either a palette knife for the sea or um, painter's brushes ordinary. So I was saying about Cornwall, this um, Goodrevy Lighthouse is just up the road from me really and it's absolutely beautiful and if you haven't been to Cornwall you, you must come to Cornwall. It is just so unusual and so beautiful. It's, um, it's just, you know, ancient fishing villages that haven't changed for hundreds and hundreds of years. And the buildings are all made of stone and granite and you know it's and it's it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And people come from all over um Great Britain to um have their holidays here. Uh and you know, it's where everybody would love to live. Um it's it's beautiful. And I paint it, I paint lots of seascapes and because I'm surrounded by it. So I'm just putting in some lovely purples and pinks and cream and some burnt umber and just to give the impression of beautiful grasses and uh, sea thrift and you know that kind of thing while I'm waiting for the sky to dry really because I'm going to add some more uh, you know some more colours to the sky and I'm going to add a little bit more of that beautiful lime green to the cliffs all the time I'm exposing the brown lower, um, you know, the lower edges of the cliff. I think one of the next paintings that I would like to do um, talking about how beautiful Cornwall is. In, um, just near Penzance, there's an, a small island with a beautiful um, ancient um, castle on, the, on high on the island. And um, it's called St Michael's Mount. You might have heard of it. And it's absolutely beautiful. And you can get, you, it's, now it's, um, a National Trust uh, place and you can get to it, you can walk to it over a causeway of cobblestones in the in the actual sea. When the tide is out you can walk to it um, and the tide comes in and you have to get a boat back but on the island are beautiful um, restaurants, well, a couple of really lovely bis bistros and um, cafes and it's absolutely wonderful you've got to go uh, if you only go once it's you've got to go and it's um, in the castle it's medieval and in the, inside the castle they've got an armory they've got suits of armor and swords and everything and they've got a beautiful beautiful chapel private chapel and you can go in there and you can you can see it and it's absolutely wonderful and I believe that um, 
Queen Elizabeth II went there and landed on the roof in a helicopter and went into the castle. And um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. You've got to go. It's a very, very steep hill, which you've got to be a little bit, you know, it's not suitable for anybody who can't walk very well, I'm afraid. And it's all cobblestone because it's absolutely ancient. So, you know, it's it's a lovely, lovely day out if you can if you can um, do it. So that's what I'm hoping to paint. Maybe in the next video, um, hopefully in the next video. But right at the moment, I'm putting in some cloud under layers, as you can see. I probably add some more colors into that. And it's looking lovely and misty in that lovely area in the center there. It's looking beautiful. I like to make my paintings look um, dramatic and mysterious and misty and, and beautiful. I waited for that um, area to dry so that I could add some more of that lovely lime green on top of the um, cliffs there. I always go over the surf again with some thick um, white paint because sometimes the blue leaches through slightly into the white that I put on initially. So I let that dry totally and then I um, go over with some white, some stark um, white paint. I'm putting in a lighthouse and the, I've said it before, the tiny details are the most difficult. They never, they never work out. Anyway, lighthouses and, and ships, 
and things like that, I usually put in flat. Um, you know, I put the canvas or the paper or whatever flat on the table and put it in that way because I've got more control. So I'm going to have to do that with this, I think. I'm making a, a little um, adjustment to the cliff face as well. <laughs> I'm just um, defining the edge of the cliff. I like that. That's looking good. So I'm sorry, I had to put the uh, canvas flat, but you see what I'm doing. Um, it's no secret, it's just using a palette knife and a bit of white. It's just virtually impossible to do it in, on an easel. I just don't seem to be able to have any control over it. Anyway, it's done, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll just put a few final touches in that foreground, just bits of pink and things like that. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and you might have a go at it, or something like it, maybe on a smaller scale. And if you did enjoy it, it would be lovely if you could press the like button. And I would be over the moon if you decided to subscribe to my channel. There'll be a lot more videos to come. And for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Bye for now. And as always, love from Cornwall.